Hi everyone! My name is Victoria Pakin from EasyRecipesWithAtwist.com and today I'm making a little different video for you. One of my subscribers asked from me to make a haul and I think it's a terrific idea to make a haul and what I brought from Israel home. And I brought quite a bit things, too much, and it cost me by weight. But I think you will enjoy it. Uh, by the way, I have a lot of uh, information about food and um, about healthy food and then about cosmetics. So I will start with food items and then I will go to non-food items. So let's start the video. Okay. Mwah. Okay. First two things that I brought from Israel. Uh, they are... Um, Pretty similar in idea, but not so much. First of all, I brought this beautiful, gorgeous tahini paste. This is basically, tahini basically is sesame paste. This is organic one and the whole tahini. If you can see, and I can show you maybe, I hope you will see, it's dark tahini, it's not light tahini. An amount of um, calcium that you have per two tablespoons, I think it's double or triple the amount that you have in whole yogurt pack. So it's very healthy to consume and if you are lactose intolerant, consider to eat tahini paste usually and regularly just to, to bring yourself to eat normal level of calcium in your diet. So this is one of the best organic and um, whole sesame seeds tahini paste. Great one. You can use it as in sweet recipes as well as in a savory one. So it's really, 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 really good product. Second thing that I brought from Israel, this is halva. This particular halva, halva made from um, sunflower seeds. There is two types of halva. Uh, sunflower seeds and um, sesame seeds and uh, I think in Canada here I uh, can buy both of them but not as good as this one and as you see yep it's almost gone it smells fantastic and sweet and yum this is great one sorry but it had to go first absolutely amazing stuff Okay, the next group of food, this is spices and spice mixes. I know you can get any, any spice you like pretty much in Canada, except a few that re really, really native to the area, like za'atar. Uh, it's uh, za'atar seasoning for salads. It's great on uh, pita-like uh, breading that I make with... Uh, feta cheese and um, I love this uh, seasoning. Uh, you can get, definitely you can get it in uh, Canada and the United States, but the quality is absolutely not the same. If you want really good spices, you should go there and buy, especially this one, because this native to the area. So, love it. The other group of spices Something that I have never seen in this scale in uh, Canada at least. I don't know what happened in other parts of Canada, but here I have s separate spices, like I have pure spices, but not the mixes. And I have to show your mixes close and personal. Okay, those are the mixes of spices. Amazing ones, love them all. As you can see, there is purpose for each and every spice, but you can use it not as a mention of the purpose. Like if I, if it's for uh, salads, let's say, you easily can use it in rice or in pasta. So, but it's a guideline more than the purpose. Let's start. This one is crushed almonds with uh, sesame seeds and uh, spices for a uh, cheese and salad gorgeous one this is um, for rice 
onion and uh, almonds and uh, a lot of um, raisins and spices of course and herbs and as you see it's yellow so probably some kind of turmeric it's going to be here very cool one this one is for from Paras, Iraq for rice amazing spice mix originated there very great it's like almost smells all house with this one this is just chili that uh, they, she gave me because I bought a lot of spices basically this is um, mushrooms and um, and uh, nuts and uh, it's for pasta and uh, rice smells great as well a lot of herbage I see here as you can see a lot of spices and green ones and amazing this is for salad you see nuts seeds uh, sesame seeds great this is the same like this one uh, this is for salad and rice and this is nut and raisins base and uh, with diff it's a little sweeter and onion and it's really great one this is um, for rice with dry fruits this is sweet base really nice as well this is just whole nutmeg you can get it everywhere pretty much this one that you have to grate by yourself this is Indian rice and I think I got it everywhere and I oh I so wish you can smell this and taste this it's amazing one uh, this is from Madagascar mix a lot of herbage a lot of um, little tiny uh, crushed dry vegetables like pepper and um, carrots and really nice one I think that's it pretty much except that this one got everywhere of course you see nice one so that's the spices okay I should say that not all of the spice mixes are uh, hot in nature they are fragrant mostly they are some spiciness to them, not the, not to all of them, but they are pretty cool to have uh, even if you have children. So it's like easy way to spice up your life and uh, it's pretty cool way. The only thing that I would mention, I didn't bought anything for meat. A uh, big thing in Mediterranean and uh, in, uh, in this area is kebabs and they should be spicy and beautiful but I'm making pretty cool spice mixes by myself so if you want to know how to make those write me a comment I probably will make some kind of video about kebabs or how to mix meat with spices their, their meat loves certain spices more than others even though it doesn't matter that you shouldn't uh, try new things uh, that's it I think that's it about the food the next item that I really want to talk about is uh, this book. It has pretty amazing story behind it. I didn't bought it obviously, but it's got to me by chance and it just proves that someone's trash is someone else's uh, treasure. And this is treasure for me, truly, truly treasure for me. This book called A Century of Canadian Home Cooking from 19th century through the 90s by Carol Ferguson and uh, Margaret uh, Fraser. This book is about 20 years old and my father actually went, uh, went to walk his dog 
And in Israel, sometimes, sometimes where is the, uh, you throw your uh, like uh, garbage, there are places that you can put stuff that you don't need. And other people can take it if it's uh, clothes, usually books and etc. And he sees something in English, and he reads tiny bit English. He sees that it's something Canadian, and uh, he knows that I'm coming, and he took it home. And my mom was so excited to see that this is book about Canadian cooking somehow and I'm in Canada so they was very excited to bring it to me this is a pretty amazing book if you can see this is beautiful retro recipes and the interesting little facts of uh, how the life was and how it uh, everything began and it's like pretty pretty gorgeous and how you see here here and how the thing was so it's like really 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 nice retro book with a lot of retro nostalgia you remember this kind of uh, food and photos like it's pretty cool I can make a review only on this book separately but it's really really cool thing to bring nice one Hi everyone, my name is Victoria, I think so, I'm not sure, not today. And, um, yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm.